Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. This fall, I will be a second grade teacher in West Michigan. And right now I'm sitting outside of my school, just about to go in. And there are a couple of cars on the side of the building, which I'm guessing belong to our custodial staff, but I'm not 100% positive. So my guess is they're probably working in classrooms today. So fingers crossed that they're not working in mine right now, because I would love to go in and grab a couple of things from my back room and also just like check on the floors, scope it out, see how it's looking because I am so excited to start setting up my classroom so my guess is I probably will not be able to start setting up this week but I still want to like check it out see how it's going so that's why I'm here and then like I said I have a couple things I want to grab from my back room while I'm here and I do have some things I might drop off as well I bought some things that I shared in my last vlog so I might take those inside we will see but today is an exciting day already I've done some running around and then while I'm out I am gonna go to the Target dollar spot as well and scope that out and I got a large diet coke which is always very exciting so lots of fun stuff in this vlog so anyways let's go ahead and go inside check it out and see how those floors are looking all right here we go <laughs> Okay, so I haven't seen any people yet, but there are a bunch of fans going. I don't know if you can see, like down the halls. So I'm gonna pull this shut for just a minute. Hopefully they don't try to come in. Okay, so we'll pull this shut. And they also have a fan going in here, which is interesting because I don't think it's been cleaned yet. So, okay, that fan was going. I'm just gonna turn that off for a second so you guys can hear me, but the floors still don't look like they've been cleaned. Like, I don't think they've been cleaned yet, but also I don't know why they'd have the fan on if it hasn't been cleaned. So maybe it has? I can't really tell, but I feel like if it was cleaned, you wouldn't see like where the bookshelf was over here. So I don't think it's been cleaned yet. And I just checked on the little checklist and it doesn't say that it's been cleaned. So I'm gonna just like quickly show my classroom library and how it's looking right now. Honestly, kind of for me. So I can go back and look at this and see what labels I still need to make. But if you missed it, my mom and I came in and we worked on my classroom library in a previous vlog and organized a bunch of these books. And they probably will still change some, but that's what it's looking like right now. And then once I can get in and actually like start working in here, I have another bookshelf that I'm gonna bring in as well that I need to paint and stuff that's gonna go somewhere in here. So I got a ton of different ideas in the comments of my last video and in like messages and emails for what to do with that board. So thank you so much for all of the ideas. I still haven't decided like a hundred percent what I'm gonna do with it but that's okay okay so I can like barely move in here the craft sticks are all the way back there like way back there I see them so I'm thinking I might just give up hope and I might just go pick some up because I kind of want some like bigger ones anyways and it's gonna be really hard to get back there if you see like all this stuff that's back here so I think I might just leave that alone and I don't know why I thought I would be able to get back here, but I don't think that's gonna work. So I like don't even know if I can get out. I'm like stuck. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so that was a really good thought, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in there. <laughs> so there's my update on how my classroom's looking. Really nothing that I can do right now. I guess I could do like bulletin boards and stuff, but I just don't wanna be like in their way if the custodians try to come in and do the floors. I don't want them to feel like they like can't do that because I'm in their space or whatever. So I think I'm gonna just hold off and I wanted to grab craft sticks from the back, but I can't even get to those, so it's fine. I'll just go pick some up when I go out to like Target and stuff. They probably have them at Target. If not, I could go to like Michael's maybe. So yeah, that's the update, nothing huge. Also, I did wanna pop on it and say that this vlog is actually being sponsored by Skillshare, which I'm super excited about. I've worked with them several times before. I love Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes. So you're gonna find just about anything you're looking for on there. You can explore new skills, you can develop your existing interests, or you can just get lost in your creativity. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. 
When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes. Experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. The class that I took most recently was called iPhone Photography Essentials Take Pro Photos with Your Phone and the teacher was Sean Dalton. I really enjoyed this class. I recently just got a new iPhone and so I'm still kind of playing around with it and I thought that this was like the perfect class for me so I highly recommend this one. It also is a staff pick which is really cool as well. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay, so it is the next day now. Yesterday I stopped filming after I went into my classroom because I went and I ran some errands, which was really fun. But then when I got home, I had a very exciting package. So about a month ago, I ordered the new Mac computer. I honestly don't know like the specifications or anything, but I'll link it below if you're interested in checking it out. So I ordered it to help me out with editing my YouTube videos and then also for more space for my Teachers Pay Teachers products and all of those fun things. And I've never owned a actual like desktop computer that is mine before. So I was willing to invest and this new one came out and I was really excited about it. So it came in yesterday and basically that consumed my night with getting it set up and unboxing it and like all of that fun stuff so I did film a little bit of that so I'll go ahead and insert that right now I probably should go get my box cutter for this but I'm not going to so we'll just make it work okay here we go oh my gosh <gasps> look at that I love watching um, Julia K Christ She's like one of my favorite YouTubers and she did an unboxing of hers a while back. She got like the pink and red one, but I decided to just go with the silver just so it like, you know, matches any space forever and I like never get sick of it. But I'm so excited. It looks like I need to cut this top side right here. Oh wait, it looks like it could just peel up actually. Let me just peel it. That seems less dangerous. So I'm peeling the tape. Boop. Oh, I'm so excited. Ready? Can I let this drop? I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, I hope there's not at least. Ooh, here she is. This is so exciting. I did not end up doing those classroom projects that I planned on doing. So I'm gonna do a couple of those today and film those for you guys. So the first thing that I did was printed some of the things that I bought off of Teachers Pay Teachers as well as some of my new Influential People posters. So here are some of the posters that I printed from the designer teacher. I ended up purchasing her bundle. So I will pop that up on screen right now. I just absolutely love this. I love how it's just like boho and fun and still like really neutral because my classroom, as you know, is like all neutral. So I like that it's stuck with just neutral colors. It doesn't have like greens or blues or anything like that. So I really like that. I don't love like the pastel rainbows just because it doesn't match anything that I have in my classroom. So I'm really trying to stick with just neutrals. I don't mind if there's like a little bit of green or blue, but I don't want to do like the whole big boho rainbow theme that's so popular. I really love it for other people's classrooms. It just doesn't match what I have though. So I printed those. So I'm going to laminate those in just a minute. And then also I printed some of my new influential people posters. So I have these on my teachers pay teachers I will link them below if you're interested in checking them out and I just printed a few of them for right now because I just didn't want to go through and like print the whole set because I wasn't sure how I was doing on ink so I printed a few for now I haven't exactly decided how I'm gonna display these in my new classroom, but I am definitely going to display them. So I'm really excited about this new set. It has a lot of people who I've been wanting to include in different sets for a long time. So yes, I will be working on more influential people posters this summer as well. That is one of my plans for the summer. My goal for 2021 is to get, I think I said like five new sets up or 10 new sets or something. So I have a lot more that I still need to make because I think I've only gotten up two sets this year. So I'm planning on making a lot more this summer. I love making them, so yay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna laminate those. Also yesterday, I ended up going to Michael's and I picked up a few things. I ended up holding off on buying craft sticks because I was pretty sure I had some in my basement and I did. So I have these skinny craft sticks. I was hoping to pick up some thick ones, but I didn't find any at Michael's that were like exactly what I wanted anyways. And then I had these already, so I might as well use these ones. So I'm gonna paint these different colors and then I'll write my students' names on these and have them be like my equity sticks or just like popsicle sticks with their names on them throughout the year. I highly recommend doing that. I feel like pretty much everybody does. So yes, I already have popsicle sticks. And then I picked up a couple other things. So I found these really cute little crates. They were only 99 cents. And I saw something kind of similar at Target that I really liked, but it was in like a locker set. And I didn't want everything else from the set. I just wanted the little crate. So I think what I'm gonna do is put some magnets on this. My magnets are at school, so I probably won't put the magnets on today, but I did wanna share it with you. So I thought it would be cute if I put some magnets on it and then I could put a little fake plant in here or I could put like a whiteboard eraser and maybe a couple markers or something like that. So I got two of these for now, 99 cents, super cheap. So I'm excited about those. I do wish they were a little bit taller, but that's okay. If they were taller, then I could probably include like pencils and stuff, but no big deal. And then I also picked up some of these acrylic paints. I just got the Craft Smart brand and I got, let's see, how many different ones? Two, four, six. So I got six different ones and I'll put them on screen right now so you can see what colors I got. I did get some of like the greens, which I know I just said I wasn't gonna do greens. I was only gonna do neutrals, but these are just for the popsicle stick, so I thought it would be fun. And I do have quite a bit of like greenery in my room, so I kind of have some green in there. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyways, I got that and then I got a couple of these just little foam paint brushes because I couldn't remember if I had any at home and they're only like 50 cents, so I decided to pick a couple up. So now I'm going to work on laminating all the things and then painting my little craft popsicle sticks as well I'm super excited and it just feels good to like be doing some fun things for my classroom so let's go ahead and heat up the laminator I actually think I'm just going to use the one that I brought from school it's my favorite and it just like never jams and it works great and so I think I'm gonna heat up that one and then get started so let's do this okay so this is my school laminator <laughs> if that's what I call it it's the scotch pro laminator Jack is like very curious what I'm doing right now he wants to be involved Involved. But yeah, so this is the laminator that I brought home from school and I'm planning on using it's my favorite favorite one So I will link this below. So I'm gonna turn this on And we will let that heat up and then while I'm waiting for it to heat up I'm going to put all of those posters into Laminating pouches. So actually I'll show you the laminating pouches. I really like as well. Give me just a second These are my favorite laminating pouches I get these off of Amazon in a pack of 200 and I've tried so many different kinds But I always come back to these ones. So I will link them below This is what the front looks like and they are just super awesome So definitely check these out like I said, I'll link them below and now I'm gonna work on putting all of my posters inside of these so let's do this Let's not lay on all of my stuff, okay? Oh my gosh, how cute is Tay? Adorable, adorable. Look at that little face. Look at him. I didn't get that. Oh. Did you try again? No. So I'll probably end up having like 20, between 20 to 30 students. So I think I'll make 30 popsicle sticks. That way I have plenty. 30, okay, 30 popsicle sticks. Hi Jack, I know you'd love to help, don't you? 30 popsicle sticks, how many colors do I have? I feel like I have six. Yep, six colors, so that means I can have five of each. So let me stick these ones. Oh Jack, Jack, I really don't need your help, sweetie. I really don't, I'm so sorry. But I really don't need your help. There you go, how about you find a good spot to lay? So I've 
hit a bit of a roadblock because I didn't really think about the fact that because I only bought two of these brushes, I have to wash them and dry them in between each color and then they take a while to dry. So I think that I'm gonna have to wait and update you in a future vlog on how these turn out. So sorry to leave you in suspense. I'm sure that you're not like really on the edge of your seat. I'm sure it's fine, but I will definitely update you in a future vlog. And then also I'm sure I'll share them on like my Instagram and stuff as well. But yes, now I just have two colors done. We're gonna let those dry, but I kind of want to end this vlog because I feel like it's probably like plenty long by now. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Also make sure to turn on that post notification bell below. It's for free and it will notify you every time that I post a new vlog. So that way you can hop on and check it out right away if you're interested in doing so. I should have set up vlogs coming soon, hopefully. I think that even if the floors aren't done in the next week, I might just pop in when the custodial staff is not in the building. So like maybe at like a nighttime or a weekend or something and start working on those bulletin boards and maybe even that wood wall as well. So that's the game plan. Hopefully I'll have that worked on pretty soon. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.